Free Country 99.9 WFRE. Boys around here with Blake Shelton. It's 811. I'm Tom Whalen with Dee Dee from Frederick County Animal Control and Adoption. Good morning, Dee Dee. Good morning. And already, let's see, 300 people have looked at Reese's. That amazes me. On the WFRE Every time. Facebook page. And that is a good picture of the little guy. Reese, it, Reese's is a, is it Reese or Reese's? Um, well, they, uh, the people who brought him to us uh, called him Reese, but he looks like Reese's Pieces. <laughs> right. <laughs> He's a guinea pig. What do you mean the people who brought him? His people? Yes. Dumping off a family yes. member at yes. the shelter. Poor Reese waking up in the morning saying, where are my people? Where's my lettuce? Right. And how long has he been with you guys? Well, he's been with us for about a month, and that's pretty uncommon for a little guy. But we have uh, several guinea pigs and several rabbits right now, so there's a lot to choose from. And i just like to remind everybody that it's not just dogs and cats at the shelter, although that's primarily what we do. Well, I'm, I'm still glowing from the uh, open house we oh, had this past great. Sunday. And uh, I saw a lot of people putting in applications for kitties and mm-hmm. doggies. And you had about five gorgeous rabbits. Were people looking at those? Maybe we, yep, we had about people adopting those? looking at rabbits and puppies and adult dogs. And then um, the ones that could go home that day uh, had to be spayed and neutered, vaccinated and all of that. The rest got spayed on Monday and went home. So if anyone saw Kiera, the beautiful blue-eyed dog, she's adopted. She had to be. She um, was a sweetie. Yeah, very sweet. So it was a great event. Thank you guys for being there. And oh, thanks please. to everybody oh, thank who supported us. And thank Nimeo. They made it possible. Yeah, and all the vendors And that I think came. the Nimeo girls, they put in applications for some cats. Oh, that's great. Yes, it And was. I'm going to see them on June 8th. I'm going over to their offices. And Reese, Reese is our uh, Shockley Honda Pet of the Week. What would somebody need to do to prep their house? Do you need a nice guinea pig? A, yes, a home pretty easy. for these guys. Guinea pigs are not agile. They cannot go up and down stairs. They cannot jump off of shelves. So they need a lot of floor space that's flat. Ramps are okay. And um, they live five to 10 years and make really talkative, interactive pets for kids. And, um, and they're really cute and not that hard to take care of as pets go. And I guess people would have to drop them off. It's not like anybody calls animal control and say, there's a guinea pig running up the side of oh, southbound. Oh, yes, we have. 15. Oh, no, you know, <laughs> yes, I was just trying have. to make a joke there. Okay, no, all right. We've had stray rabbits, stray guinea pigs. There was a woman who called the shelter and said there was an iguana in her backyard. <laughs> and cool. when the officer arrived cool. and said, ma'am, that's not an iguana, she said, well, you're taking it. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the WFRE Facebook page. You've got a good picture. He's a heartbreaker. He is a cutie. His name is Reese's, and you can call the uh, shelter 301 301- uh, 600-1546 if you're interested in a guinea pig or a bunny or go check out the shelter on Rosemont Avenue.